big old eagle nest up in the top of that uh, pine tree right there. Seen a couple of bald eagles fly around, but they've been too far off to really get a video of them. They're off the nest by now, I would think. All right, guys, so we have made it to our first stop of the day, and this is a spot that I actually discovered uh, some years ago and did a video on because it's really, really interesting. I've been wanting to get back here since then. Um, this is the first time. Now, a buddy of mine, well, let me show you what it is first. This, I do believe, see these boards here, are the remains of a Civil War um, bridge or a, a crossing that they put these boards. You can see them go up through here. Now we saw something very similar to this uh, in one of my earlier videos on this trip, but um, I had found some uh, mule shoe mule shoes in amongst these, and this looks like it's washed out a lot since I was last here. And a buddy of mine uh, said he detected this before I got here the same year, and he found a Civil War belt buckle and some bullets and stuff, or something like that here, but definitely Civil War stuff. And uh, should have gone out the other side, but I could never find any evidence over there. All right, so let's go ahead and start looking around, see if we can find a bullet or two. They, you know, the Civil War soldiers put these rocks here, the engineers. I don't know if this came in always, I, came in on an angle like this it probably did so they could take the wagons down and cross the river could have been a pontoon bridge it could have just been a ford right here i don't remember which uh, i see some more rocks on the other side we'll go look at those too if you look at the battle maps i'm not going to tell you which one because everybody in their uncle will be down here then um if you look at the battle maps they did have a crossing right here as well as another one just upstream all right let's get the digging i'm going to be using the at max today oh by the way we have a busy day a lot of stuff at max zero program bump discrimination up to about 10 just to quiet down the iron i want to listen to the uh dig the big iron like bayonets and stuff because they'll they could read as low as 15 maximum sensitivity all right ground balance if we can ground's really bad here so probably won't need ground balance uh but the way we go i'll let you know when we get our first uh first signal or first signal out of the ground that's decent we've got a little fog on the inside of my gopro that's not good Hmm, hope you can see me. All right, here's our first target of the day. I have a broken horseshoe and a rock. Um, there's lots of minerals in the rock here, so they stick to the mag. Before you guys freak out, I did actually uh, report this to the state archeologists, because um, I thought they might like to come down here and do something with it. I don't know if they ever did. That was several years ago, at least. Um, but I never heard back from them anyway, so. Oh well, I, I, I'm pretty sure it'll be gone in a few years if you notice the bank behind me is all eroding out it's eroded back about a foot right below me for sure since i was last here see the black sand right there is this there's gold in this area but just uh it's not a whole lot but there is some iron probably have the uh volume way down um let me turn that up a little bit no nope, head all the way up it's hard to hear with these headphones though well there is something here that's a, don't know, uh, don't think that's gonna be a horseshoe or mule, it might be, yeah, it's probably a mule shoe, but it may not be. That in the bag. More iron. Ooh, look at that snake skin. A little squeaky there, we'll try to dig up. Lots of little iron. This is where it's all eroded, so hopefully there'll be some signals down here now. Whoops, what was that? Oh, that's my pick. <gasps> Snakey! Look at him. Give me your buddy. Is that what the relics are? Is it? Something there. It's probably iron. I'm going to go ahead and dig up anything that's as big as a gun wrench in here. Probably gold in that rock. That sounds like it's pretty shallow. Let's go ahead and hit that with a magnet while you're here. Now I'm gonna turn it off for a minute. No. Oh, there it is. I think, what is it? What is it? That is a half of a big chain. They could have had like chains going across here to hold a bridge in place too. All right, I'm gonna turn you off for a bit and um, uh, hunt on my own when I find something good I'll show it to you so I'm finding lots of iron horseshoes and pieces of wagons and chains and stuff like that but no good squeakers yet 
I'll show you everything before I leave. Look how thin that is worn. I'll show you everything before I leave. I've uh, been here about 20 minutes, gonna spend about another 20. Then we have a lot of other places I wanna check out. Hang in there. We'll find some good Civil War stuff. I mean, I love this. You probably aren't as wild about it iron as I am, but we'll find at least a belt buckle and a sword, maybe a small cannon today. Well, let's hope we do anyway. Getting quite a few chains like this. That's pretty cool, isn't it? That's off an old Civil War wagon, I can almost guarantee it. Okay, so here's what I found in a quick hunt of this site. We're going to go ahead and move to where I think is going to be a better spot. I just wanted to come back here and see how this There's your last peek at it this year. All right, this is what I found in a quick hunt on the site. I have a bunch of broken horseshoes. All Everything was against this bank pretty much within 50 feet of the shore. Bunch of broken horseshoes. Got some neat hooks. I'm sure these go off of um, wagons of some sort. I don't know what kind. This is my favorite right here. That's really nice. You can see how the, uh, I guess it broke. They, well, they all broke, obviously. But anyway, that's it for right now. I jump back in the boat. We're going to the next spot, and we're going to start finding. We'll find at least a couple bullets, I hope, and maybe a button or two. And a plate and a sword and a small cannon. <laughs> Hang in there. Well, I have two things of interest here. Um, one I'm going to keep, and one I'm not, because it's too heavy. What in the world do you think this thing is? really when i first saw it i thought it was like a cannon barrel part of a cannon barrel boy it, it, it looks like it except the inside is just so crude there's just no way unless it blew up maybe it would have to be a really small one though wouldn't it now there was not only civil war activity in this area there was some revolutionary war activity but i think it's just too crude <laughs> i have no idea what that is though <sighs> i just have no idea Weird, huh? Looks almost like a cannon, but it's way, way too small. All right, we're going to leave that here because it's too heavy for my boat. Um, I have a long way to go. This is a trigger guard. This is a trigger guard and uh, part of the uh, mechanism for a musket. Probably a Civil War musket. Found this about, uh, I don't know, 50 yards down there, but some guy has a shooting range set up going across here now, and it's loaded with bullets, so I, I couldn't even dig there anymore. But we do have a relic that isn't a horseshoe and a cannon barrel that isn't a cannon barrel all right this is kind of a mystery this little piece right here i don't know what it is i first thought it was like a piece of barbed wire that's mostly iron it's got like a little knot right there but if you look in the middle it's got a piece of copper wire wrapped around it and like a little pin or something hanging down i have no idea what this could possibly be something to a telegraph something to explosives <laughs> i have no idea Looks almost like a cannon fuse, but I know that's not what it is. Huh. If anyone has any idea, please let me know, because that's a mystery to me. Now, this is a curious little item I just, I'm digging out of the bank here that I've got most of it already, but I don't know what it is. It looks almost like a scabbard, scabbard tip or something. It looks almost like a scabbard of some sort, or almost like a little old chair leg, which I don't think it is. I think it's some type of military thing. I'm in the deep mud here where I have found relics in the past. Unfortunately, whatever it is, is pretty much rotted away. So I guess we'll never know for sure, but I'm pretty suspicious looking for a scabbard of some sort. Okay, let's keep going. Is that a button? <laughs> nah. I wish I could take that back, but... I got so far to go on the river, there's no way I can uh, put that in my boat and make it today on one tank of gas. Look, you see the nails embedded in that little square nails. That is, uh, that's tough right there. What I found directly underneath it. See, even got a little piece of string attached. Isn't that wild? This is a Civil War mini ball made, made into a fishing sinker with some uh, twine or a little string attached to it. Huh. I think that's a little uh, thing for a bell. Now that would go on the inside of a bell, maybe. Bing, bing, bing. Yeah, you can see there's some of uh, some of the copper still attached. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the guess will work. Well, I finally found a button. Look at that. That's an old one too. That's like, uh, you know, colonial era. I don't see any designs on it, but yay! <laughs> Something other than iron. I like it. Is that cool? 
I'm not sure what kind of axe that is. It's obviously an axe. Um, but I'm not, I don't recognize that blade. And it's really heavy, so it's not, I don't know. It's hand forged. I think it could as easily be colonial as Civil War. <laughs> Sweet, I like that one. That's my favorite find so far today. All right, so here's what happened. Uh, we went down river about 10 miles this morning, and I just finished coming back up river. We're almost to Camp Potato, just around the corner. Uh, and we're back at a spot that I've hunted over the years. In fact, I was here about two weeks ago or a week ago and found uh, some cool stuff right here, some bullets and things. I had a little bit of a squeaker here, but there's a bunch of iron in with it, so I just went ahead and dug it without the, the camera. Uh, looky, I got some weird little iron hook thing and a knapsack hook. Awesome. <laughs> we got a relic. I'm going to put them over there for right now. It's like a little hole right here, and I'm just kind of hitting it with a pin pointer, too. Um, you saw the knapsack hook? Got a weird little piece of wire. It's probably like telegraph wire, I guess. That little uh, hanger, something bite my uh, leg, and a piece of a, uh, looks like a little baby horseshoe, but I suspect it could be, well, it could be a little horseshoe <laughs> or heel plate. Looks more like a horseshoe. I'm going to go ahead and put this in my bag. Uh, we don't have too much longer here because we've got a long way to go before we get out of here. and We've got to pick up all our gear, uh, but we'll give another half hour or so at least. So guys, as you can see, I kind of had to scoot. I am trying to make it back to the truck before it gets dark. Um, wasn't expecting this storm. Came up really quick. <laughs> if we're lucky, we'll see each other again. I hope. Mother Earth, she's got her secret.